I recently had the pleasure of getting to sit down with NC State University pitcher Johnny Piedmont. He had an inspirational story to tell and showed us what the word dedication meant for the game of baseball. I'm Abby Labar, and this is a Pack Profile. I'm a right-handed pitcher at NC State University. I'm a senior, but athletically, I am a redshirt sophomore. Uh, I grew up playing baseball my whole life. Um, I had Tommy John in my senior year, right before I committed to NC State. Uh, the coaches gladly took me, even though I was getting surgery. Got to NC State in the fall. I was healthy. Uh, I threw well, and then I came in the spring before the season started. Had some tendonitis in the, my throwing elbow. Had to sit out and they ended up redshirting me. Played my freshman, end of my freshman year uh, for summer ball. Uh, I threw really well, and then I was coming to school. My sophomore year on the way to school, I got in a car accident on the highway, and I had pain throughout my left leg and in my lower back the whole, uh, the whole fall ball. Came in the spring, um, ended up barely could walk. So I had the uh, microdisectomy in January 2014. I said about, about a year recovery, and I, he told me I didn't, he didn't know if I could ever play again, and that was, that was tough to hear. After a long-awaited debut against Coastal Carolina, Johnny finished the season with 15 appearances, 12 of those being starts. He had a total of 40 strikeouts to 14 walks, compiling a 3.26 ERA, and was a huge asset to NC State Baseball's successful 2015 season. So after the doctor said you might not be able to play again, what was your biggest motivation to get that momentum going and get back on the mound? Uh, my biggest motivation was my little brother. He's 18 years old. He has Down syndrome. I drew that motivation because I see how many struggles he has living his daily life. And I knew that God blessed me with a healthy mind, healthy body, um, that I could push through whatever I was going through. I kind of just want to play for him. So he's always been a big impact on your baseball career? He has. Uh, he's always in the back of my mind when I'm pitching or doing conditioning, give it a little extra for him. Do you always, or do you plan in the future to take your love for your little brother and your love for baseball and do something with that? I do. I, uh, I plan to own an indoor baseball facility, uh, teach youth baseball. Um, I'll have special needs teams. And I, I've already worked with uh, Special Olympics in North Carolina in the past. In high school, I raised about $35,000 for them doing different events, um, paid for their pool rentals and stuff like that. Oh!